Hello. Today I am going to provide a brief demonstration of how to use Microsoft Word's built-in citation engine. Um, I will be using Microsoft Word for PC. Microsoft Word for Mac might be a little different. It will be the same basic principle, but some of the tabs might be located in different places on the screen. Um, you'll have to hunt for them yourself. But here for Word and PC, you can click the References tab up here at the top and you will notice the Citations and Bibliography box, which is what we are going to be working with. Under Style, you can select which style sheet you will be using for the current document. There's a drop-down list of several different supported style sheets. APA, Chicago, MLA, Turabian. Um, if you're in doubt as to which style sheet you will be using, you can ask your professor. For this demonstration, we'll be using APA 6 edition, so click that. If you want to add new sources or manage old sources, you can click up here, Manage Sources, and that will bring up a box with two columns. Here on the left, you can see uh, your library. It includes all the sources that you've ever cited in Microsoft Word, unless you specifically deleted them when you were done. You can see that I have some sources left over from an old research project. I can recycle those if I desire. Um, here on the right hand side, I have the list of sources used in the current document. Now since this is a brand new Word document, I do not have any sources listed yet. Um, there are two ways that I can add sources to the current document. I can either select out of my library and copy over. I can do that for several different resources at once, copy them over, or if I want to insert a new source that I've never cited in Word before, um, I can hit new, that will bring up a dialog box. Um, there's a drop down menu here at the top which lets you select which type of source you want to add. Uh, there's several different supported sources, book, journal, article, conference proceedings, website, um, film, interview even. Uh, let's do a book. Uh, and then you just fill out the form for whatever source you're citing. Let's do a Nicholas Carr's The Shallows. Now these are not all of the bibliography fields. Um, if you want to get more specific, you can hit show all bibliography fields and you'll see that there are several more. Uh, but as you can see, I've filled out all the recommended bibliography fields uh, for APA 6 edition. So I can go ahead and hit OK. And you will see that that source has now been added to my library. And it has also been added to my current document. I now have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sources um, listed for my current document. And that was all that I'll be using for now. Uh, so I can hit close and I can begin to write my research paper. If I make a claim that the author claims in his book or whatever source the author wrote um, and I want to cite that claim, I can come up here to insert citation, click the drop down. I will get a drop down menu of every source which I've listed as being used in this document. I can navigate to the source which I want to cite, click it, and it gives me an in-text parenthetical citation automatically. 
Now, if you will notice, um, they did not give me page numbers in this citation. And that's all right for APA 6 edition, unless I'm doing a direct quotation. If I'm doing a direct quotation of the author, I will need to provide page numbers. And the way I do that is to hover over it. You'll see that it turns blue. I can click on it. And I can click the drop-down menu here, Edit Citation. And I can insert the page numbers or page range. Hit OK. And there is my parenthetical in-text citation. Unfortunately, Word does not support footnotes, automatic footnote generation. That's not a problem for APA 6 edition, but for Chicago, for example, you'll have to generate your own footnote citations. Um, I can continue writing my document. When I get to the end, I want to cite all of my sources um, by inserting a bibliography. And I can do that really easily by coming up here to the bibliography dropdown. And I can insert a bibliography or a work cited depending on my style sheet. APA 6 edition calls for a bibliography. So I will click that. And there it is. Alphabetized and formatted. And that's about all there is to know about Word's built-in citation engine. If you need more help on citations, you can visit the Writing Center. Um, they accept appointments or drop-ins. Um, the Writing Center also has several handbooks on their shelves, and those will contain the authoritative uh, methods of citing sources for your discipline. Good luck on your paper.